So yes, God would definitely be a blessing through his people. But also in line with what would Jesus do? Jesus would tell the truth. Jesus tells the truth. And it amazes me when a child of God, a Christian, Christian, anointed, anointed one, you know, children of God, because of the anointed one, we're anointed, and we have Christ on the inside of us to be a blessing. And that's what it means to be a Christian, is that you have the, you're anointed. And, um, and I guess I'm feeling some type of way because I read a post. And the post read, this is a person who is, who believes on Jesus Christ for salvation. And their post said, I'm not a Christian. They say, I'm not a Christian, but I'm a child of God. And uh, mind you, this is a person who believes on Jesus Christ. So it's not like another religion because we are relationship. And that is because we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation. But I really believe there are a lot of people who are who are claiming to be Christians and they may very well have accepted the Lord Jesus in their heart but have not studied to really realize what that means. Because you have to spend time with God to have the word of God uh, written on your heart, to take away the stony heart, for God to pour the word in your heart for it to become flesh. Because if you were truly understanding of the word of God, you would not be saying, well, I'm not a Christian, but I'm a child of God, but I'm not a Christian. Because a Christian would mean that you're anointed. That would mean that Christ is in you, Colossians 1.27. That would mean that Christ is inside of you. And that is because of the indwelling that we are called Christians. Christians. That's why we're called Christians because we have Christ on the inside of us. So to say that you're not a person who has Christ on the inside of you, because the Bible says, um, if you do not have Christ, then you're none of his. And I don't think a lot of Christians really understand what it means to be a Christian. To be a Christian means that you are saved by grace and you were a sinner. You were a sinner and you recognize that you were a sinner and you asked the Lord Jesus Christ inside of your heart to be your righteousness. And Jesus, yes, Jesus is very loving and Jesus' example was love. But yet, also, Jesus said, if you don't have anything, if you, he even told Peter, if you don't let me wash you, I can have nothing to do with you. And if a person doesn't accept Christ, if they don't accept Jesus Christ, then they do not have Jesus on the inside of them. And God is not pleased with that. And God cannot accept that. You cannot be saved unless you have the Savior on the inside of you. You cannot be redeemed unless the Redeemer lives on the inside of you. You cannot be a child of God unless you have God living on the inside of you. And um, we cannot water down that. And what would Jesus do? Jesus would tell the truth. And that does not mean that we have to go around being a rude to people, but we should at least tell the truth. And our truth should remain what the Word of God tells us. And it's not sugar-coated. It is what the Word of God is. And the Word of God, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh to dwell among us. And we beheld the glory of God as the only begotten Son of God. So you have to have the only begotten Son inside of your heart for Father God to be able to accept you into the Beloved. And so what would Jesus do? Jesus would tell the truth. Jesus would tell the truth. And so the Christians who who are anointed and who are about that life by expressing and telling what the Holy Spirit is speaking through them, the other people who are uninformed, un, uh, I should say uneducated, of the Word of God would actually try to go against. That's the crazy part. The, go against the ones that are standing up for the truth. If you truly understood what it means to be a Christian, the foundation of that would be that you would have Christ on the inside of you and then you would have a fruit, you would have the fruit from his indwelling. The fruit of this, the Holy Spirit, the love, the joy, the peace, the patience, the kindness, the gentleness, the faithfulness, the meekness, and the self-control is a fruit, the fruit from his presence, the fruit of his, the fruit of his being, 
the fruit of the body of Christ, the fruit of, of the Holy Spirit. So that is what's on my heart today. Yes, what would Jesus do? Jesus tells the truth. And motivational speaking, you know, certainly there are people who are motivational speakers and they, you know, they talk and they desire to motivate and inspire and say positive things into your atmosphere. I get that. But to be a child of God, you expressing, that's my son back there. To be a child of God, you're expressing and you're speaking by the Holy Spirit. And it's going to be all about Christ. It's going to be about the fullness of the Godhead in Christ and Christ inside of the person who's speaking. And it's going to be about the person who's allowed the Lord to speak through them. And it's going to bring glory to God. So motivational speaking has... Uh, um, it's very popular now, but motivating and guiding in truth could be two different things. Because guiding in truth is going to be about Jesus. And it's going to be about giving God the glory. And it's going to be about ministering and telling people that they need to accept Jesus Christ to be saved. To be born again, delivered from the powers of darkness, translated into the kingdom of light of God's dear son in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. Because there is no forgiveness of sins unless there is the accepting of the blood of Jesus that cleanses us and makes us clean. Yes, what would Jesus do? So, Jesus would tell the truth. And Jesus would be the truth manifested. As Jesus Christ manifests the glory of God, he fulfilled all the law. But the Holy Spirit is poured upon children of God this day, even now. God says, I will pour out my Holy Spirit on all flesh. So it's about being a Christian. It's about being a child of God. It's about God. And that's what Jesus would do. Anoint you. Feel you prosper you, heal you, deliver you, be God inside of you. Yes, that's what Jesus did. So have a blessed, happy new year and understand what it means.